guys, welcome back. We're going to be getting into Five Nights at Freddy's, and we're going to continue with Night 4. Um, yeah, we already played this earlier, but um, the game doesn't drop till tomorrow, so I figured I would go back in here and see how far we can get. And uh, welcome to all our new subscribers. We are up to 800 subscribers, and I am extremely grateful. I did not expect to be at that number, guys, until um, January of next year, to be honest. Um, I really didn't, so I'm really grateful to you guys for the growth. Woof! I'll put my... coat on because I'm giving myself a chill on. Uh oh. Beakies. On the move. Oh, hey. hey, well, day four. I think you can do it. Uh, hey, listen. Uh, I may not be around to send you a message tomorrow. Do you like fun? Do you like pizza? What I like is he knew they were wandering around and he still let us take his for crap job. It, it, he didn't go anything rational like, Hey man, get out of there! Get! Get! Run! Save your life, man! They're alive! No, he's like, Welcome to Freddy Fosbear, so I'm gonna die, so you should too. <laughs> hey kids! Do you like pizza? Do you like fun? Do you like the animatronics? I know I should! <laughs> Have you seen that yet? Come on down to Freddy Fosbears. Do you like pirates? Well, too bad. Foxy's out of order. Come back when he's working. <laughs> Come in and watch the animatronics and have fun. But don't wander off or you could be killed by a murderer. And that's not fun. So come on down, dude. And then you hear shh. What did I swear? And then you hear children screaming, "Purple guys chasing kids." <laughs> uh oh, Foxy doesn't find that music. I'm sorry, Foxy. It's it's a joke, Foxy. It's a video. But they're a bad person, <laughs> of course. <laughs> and, and the guy kind of looks like a young Adam Sandler, the character they have in it. I know what the character's from, I'm vaping on it, but he looks like a young Adam Sandler. <sighs> YouTube shafted me last night, so the builds are over. So I'll be getting back into Let's Plays, which is what the channel was built on, so it's okay. I'm running out of room anyhow. Because I'm not going to put them in the garage or they'll fall all apart, so... I'm going to look like one of those mentally unstable people with life-size animatronics <laughs> everywhere. <laughs> now, I'll have to figure out somewhere to put them. I have one spare room I can put them in, I guess. Try not to look at them and think about how much money I sunk into them. <laughs> they start off free, and anyone that's ever done a build knows they start off free and they end up costing you about 80 bucks a pop. Well, I just need some paint. Paint's not expensive. Holy crap! This costs how much you can? And I just need some tape. Tape's not expensive. And, and I just need this. Yeah, and before you know it, you've spent a small fortune. You could have adopted a professionally made prop for cheaper. <laughs> you probably could have. Oh, lord. That's why people that have scarecrows that do custom work on them are very protective and bring them in at night. It's like each of them took seven to twenty hours because the initial work is at least seven hours of work, and then um, all the additional work I do on them. And I'm still actually not done with those five. Bonnie needs his guitar. Freddie needs his microphone. Foxy needs a sign. Oh. 
Bonnie! We're gonna go back in. <laughs> That's what Bonnie thinks of not having his guitar. <laughs> Bonnie's like, let me show you how pretty my teeth are. <laughs> Mommy. But yeah, guys, I had them outside. And I'll tell you what I heard. I heard banging on the side of my house. And not where they are, but like on the other side where, for the pagan folks, where my altar is. And it was like banging, like like a real loud bang. And it wasn't like wind chimes or anything else like hitting the house. I know what that sounds like. It was like real loud banging, like a couple times. Um, like uh, people were like throwing stuff at the house or something. I don't know. Maybe there's like mines underground or something, but it was like this real loud banging sound. And I'm like, well, I'm going out there and bringing the kids in because if there are people fooling around, I want my babies in. And I may not be the tallest person in the world, but I eat more than I should and I'm probably heavier than you and I can hit harder than you. <laughs> if you're out there with my babies, I'll show you how I learned to fight. I was ready to knock someone out. I really was. I mean, it, it used to be a real nice town. It has steadily slid downhill and got kind of crimey. And, and I'm not joking around. It's got crimey. You go to the park now and there's like prostitutes and pimps and drug dealers and everything else. It was not that kind of town at one time. But um, it is what it is. And... um. I keep a sledgehammer by the door, about five pound sledgehammer. If you come knocking at my door late at night, you are getting that thing planted in your skull. <laughs> Hi. Except for Bon Bon. Bon Bon can do whatever he wants. Uh, most of my neighbors are fine, and the funny thing is, since they're like small town drug dealers, they're actually like decent people. They're not like big city ones that drive by and like shoot everybody's doors and windows open and stuff like that. They're actually like really polite and really well mannered. It's just, um, whatever was hitting the side of the house, I did not like it. And it wasn't puppet or anything. None of them have anything heavy enough in them to slam like a... Hi! Puppy! I've been watching Fox Cub videos, so... YouTube broke my heart with what they did, so... I've been watching my Fox Cub videos, because they're my favoritest animals on Earth. Foxy's really happy and Bonnie's just looking at me, hopefully. Bonnie wants to know if bunnies are in there. Um, let's not tell Bonnie about what the local fox left me this summer. Um, he left me a love present, that's all he left me. But yeah, something, something or someone was out there on the porch last night, and I, I just had enough. I had YouTube shaft me and everything else, and even though I felt like burning my babies because of what YouTube did to me. Because you know, if you create stuff, and people do that to you, and they destroy your creation in front of you, you just get, you're in so much pain, you feel like doing that. Um, I was going to bust somebody's skull in this, what I was going to do. And you guys know I'm usually rather peaceful, but I've had enough. I had had enough. I'm like, you're going to terrorize me and tear apart my children? I'm going to kill you. <laughs> and usually I will not do that. Usually I'm like more level-headed. If I hear someone else out at night, I'll be like, nope. Those were my babies. Those were creations I spent like about seven, at least seven base hours on each. And then about probably 14 to 20 hours each, at least so far. I was ready to bash somebody's skull in. If it wouldn't have been one of those clown punks, he would have been the first day clown punks clown, uh, police would have found. And uh, that would have been the end of the clown. Posse, because he would have been had that smack snot out, uh, you know, snot smacked out of him. I was just absolutely rich. <laughs> if someone was going to touch my children, I was going to kill them. 
I couldn't get it YouTube, so... If somebody was gonna physically touch my babies, I was gonna kill. So that was how my night went. And I brought them in, and they were freezing cold, guys, because it got real cold at night. It was so cold, and it looked so frozen. Poor little foxy, it looked frozen like a little icicle. But I bring them inside. I brought Bonnie inside, so I had the porch light on at like 2 or 3 a.m. Because I was up real late, dealing with the mess that uh, YouTube gave me when they shafted me. And, hi, sweetheart. And, um... I just had enough of enough. See? I played this game for a while, and you guys know I've, um... Played it, and played it, and played it, and I'm usually really good at it, but not tonight. Tonight there's too much bunny. Too much bunny. <laughs> bunny on my desk is looking at me real confused. Yep, he's still out there. Hi! Bunny, how can I tell you this? I love you, as I love all my children, but you ugly baby. <laughs> the ugliest one of my children. I'm just gonna run right on top of him. Foxy's gonna run right over his back. Hi, Foxy! Invisible Fox! Whoop! Okay. For 4 a.m. we got 21%. We're pretty good. And Chica's doing her one-woman show of I hate dishes, I hate you. She's told me that's what it's called. And I've told her... Preach on, sister. Preach on. And she said, all men are evil. And I said, preach it, sister. She said, do you ever see the boys in this kitchen? Over two years. And I'm the only one that does dishes. And I said, I hear you. I had that job. Guys are too good to wash dishes. <laughs> if you've ever washed dishes for a living, you know what I mean. People that uh, work with you just come in, dump stuff, and like all the water goes all over you, and you're like, <laughs> so I do not envy Chica having to go back here and bust dishes on her off hours and don't even get paid for it. Poor Chica. But even though I owe the kids all that, I don't even know if I'll do it. After what you two fooled, I just don't care. Okay, I'm gonna have to let the fox and the bear run, because I suddenly used up all of my power. I was doing really good, and now I'm not. I was doing really good, and now I'm not. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. Uh oh, down to 3%, and that's not good. 2%. Uh oh, I am snookered. I am snookered. Oh my god, 1%. And the bear's off the stage, and the bear's off the stage, and there goes all my power, and the bear's coming for me, and I'm gonna die. But I had to try to play this stupid game, cause the other game is coming out. And I'm gonna die. Office looks different, doesn't it? Looks more brightly lit. Maybe it should. Yeah, look how brightly lit the office is, guys. Guys, look, the office is lit up. This is the coolest glitch. Even though I'm about to die, I'm gonna show this to you guys. Freddy! Freddy, come look at this! The office was lit up, dude! Dude, the office was lit up! This game is like glitching the crap out. Come look at this. <laughs> Yay! Yay! Oh, that was so cool! The game glitched out. Okay, so let's try the fifth night. I'm just playing really bad today. Should we try the fifth night? Yeah, let's try the fifth night with my devil children.
Uh oh, they're cheating. Okay, Chica's gone. <laughs> Sounds like we're playing Pink Floyd backwards. Pretty sad to me. Let it sound like Foxy putting his two bits in, because that sounds like Foxy's scream. Eh, eh, eh. But yeah, I was watching my little fox cubs today. They are so cute. They're little bundles of cute wrapped in adorable. With cuddles and sprinkles on top. I I don't know why, they just they calm me down, they make me feel better. They foxes are my calm. And I'm using up too much power Cause kids are running around But we gotta keep those kids pinned if we can Oh, he's singing I hear that, I hear that pretty song It's a pretty song You sing pretty foxy songs, yeah Pretty foxy songs People watch just to see if I'll talk baby talk to Foxy. <laughs> Pretty Foxy songs, yeah, and he got sparklies. Got his sparklies out. Yeah. Carl's just looking at me like, you lost it, girl. What, he's got his sparklies out, Carl. I'm a cupcake. I know you're a cupcake, Carl. I'm a cupcake. I don't know when the fifth game's gonna drop, according to, um, Steam, sometime tomorrow around noon, I guess. Cupcake? I don't believe it either. Cupcake. Yes, I'll be up till around one or two. Hi, baby. Yes, guys, I'm gonna watch for the fifth game to drop. Cupcake? No, I don't think it's the end of the series. Cupcake! I don't know. Well, Scott trolled everybody really bad. <laughs> Some people are mad at him. He pretended to have a conscience. <laughs> the day he develops a conscience, I'm out of a job. <laughs> Don't ever develop one, Scott. Child killers are good for children. They teach children to beware of strangers. <laughs> this game teaches them to be terrified of everywhere and everything, especially children's places. <laughs> well, actually, kids, it is true. You know not to go anywhere with any employee or any talking suit of anything. I'm, I'm sure the kids in the original game were like, Hey! Don't look at me like that, Bonnie. I'm sure you were only four or three or something. You just didn't know any better. I mean, maybe he was older. It was a different time back in the 80s. It really was. But I don't know, but... No, we had, like... We knew better. I think we did. I don't know. But a four or five, you wouldn't. Three or four. I mean... I don't know, how old are you when you go to these places? You're like pretty little. I mean, you're not like preschool age, but because they have games for like kids, so I don't know what age you are, I don't know. But whatever age you are when you go to these things, you're just, you're young enough to be taken advantage of, that's what I'm saying. Because kids don't know any better. Adults don't know any better. There'd be some adults that would trust them. Okay. Freddy's talking to me. And I don't mean they have anything wrong with them. They're just some adults that are so trusting they would follow them. I've known people like that. They're just so <laughs> innocent and trusting they would follow them. There's nothing mentally wrong with those people or anything. Um, they just, they're very trusting. It would be like lying to a kitten. How could you?
you know what? Freddy is actually really dark in this game. So I'm actually glad I left my cocoa color. Because um he is dark in this game. He's not the um really light brown that um Hi Bunny. I mean I know all the other stuff, all the merch, he's like lighter brown, but um I'm glad mine came out cocoa color. He's so cute. Cocoa colored beer with brown head. Yes! I made one of you. Only he's cocoa colored. He's very cute, and he's very tasty looking. He looks like he's made off Hershey's chocolate. I just want to take a bite out of him. <laughs> Dude, he looks so yummy. Uh oh, it's for you. Time to be careful. Yeah, Hershey's chocolate, Foxy. Foxy heard Hershey's chocolate. <laughs> I live in Pennsylvania. That's the coolest place ever. Well, I haven't been there in over a decade, but it used to be the coolest place ever. You could, like, uh, go on rides and everything. And they had their own animatronics come to think of it. They did. It, you rode in a um, boat through a tour, and you rode on, like, a chocolate river. I'm, I'm serious. They have this. And you um, went through a thing, and they had, like, animatronics, if I remember right. Animatronics were a big thing back in the um, 70s and 80s when I was a little girl. And they're probably going to become a big thing again, not because of Chuck E. Cheese either, because these demented little kids. My babies! Uh oh. I'm going to run off power, guys. Uh oh. Yep. Left door, right door. I'm gonna run out of power. Sugar sprinkles, cookie crumbs. Bonnie. Chica. Bonnie. I know I did not make it far enough at 5 a.m. Let's see if we get the sink glitch. Yeah, the whole office is real bright. It should be... Freddy, come look at this. The office is bright. All my, um, FNAF games are waking up, guys. Look at this. Look how bright the office is. Freddy, come in here and look at this, honey. Come look at this. The office is really bright. Yeah, step in here and look at... Well, yeah, it's dark now. That was so cool. I don't care if I die. That was cool. I am really out of shape on this game. I don't care. That was cool. Freddy got me. Oh well. <laughs> there they are, the little babies. Okay, guys. Um, That gets us back into Night 5. Uh, I will let you go. I know... Uh, People probably by now they're like, oh god, Five Nights at Freddy's. <laughs> I hope not on this channel, but I know I put up the FNAF roll and I think like two people watched it or something like that. So there you go, Five Nights at Freddy's. As we await for the drop of the fifth game, why not go back to the first game and play a little bit more? Um, I hope you guys know I was teasing when I said that. <laughs> the graphics on the new game, but I knew it was a troll game, so I had to give Scott a hot a hard time. <laughs> oh yeah, I can't talk this morning. Okay, um, I am going to sign out, and um, I got this on Amazon, so I won't give you a link anywhere, but um, I will see you guys later. Bye-bye.